before Kevin and I moved to LA, we went through some difficult times in Boston. My dad disowned me because Kevin wasn't Greek. So as much as I love going home, reliving those memories is really hard. I think it's always interesting when you get a peek behind closed doors because you start to see that everything wasn't always rosy. And this episode, episode four of Chasing Maria Menounos, definitely kind of shows you an inside look at when Kevin and I first got together. I knew when I met Kevin the first time that he was the one. It wasn't an easy situation. He wasn't Greek, so my dad was very upset, pretty much disowned me, took my education away. I had always listened to my dad. I was very obedient, never disobeyed. I wasn't allowed to date till I was 18, I didn't. And I had to kind of fight for what I believed in at that point, and that was our relationship. And I was now pretty much homeless, no education, no degree, um, but I had Kevin. Yeah, it was Romeo and Juliet without and again, full tragedy. You think about being down here and just dreaming and dreaming and dreaming. It's so crazy that everything came true. There was a lady that we were close to growing up and uh, she was gracious enough to take us in. And it was just an unfinished basement and it was actually with Joe Gear, who you see on the reality show as well, living with us. And um, I just knew from day one when I met Maria that she was going to be a star. It was just a matter of time. And I said, if we just stick to the plan and stay focused on what we need to, you will become that star. Your parents will come to understand this whole situation. They'll be back in your lives. You just have to stick to it. I kept thinking, this guy's out of his mind. We couldn't be further from Hollywood. We're literally on a floor on this mattress. And I just, I didn't realize what a vision he had. And he followed through. I always tell people, if you believe in uh, your partner and you root for your partner's success, you know, as much as they'll root for yours, everything will be fine. And we always did, and, uh, and it's, it's paid off. To make ends meet, she came and worked as a carny with me on the streets of Boston. I know you're really hungry for a sausage, sir. Don't walk away. Make the biggest mistake of your life. Oh, you're right back into it. I know. I told you. Like you never left. Maybe you're just trying to make sure I never become one. And then I had a friend who was at Channel One News saying, hey, they're looking for reporters. And so I cut together a really quick reel, and she went against about 500 other people, and they brought her in for an interview, and then another interview, and we put her outfits together for all of them. Uh, Kevin went to Forever 21 with yeah. me and helped me put my interview outfit together, and I got the job, and we moved out to LA and started our lives out here. And so soon after, we went to Entertainment Tonight, and my, the rest was history. My parents came out to visit. My dad apologized to Kevin, which I think is just such a sign of, you know, I don't know a lot of men that could actually say that they're sorry. It's so hard to even give the whole story, but it was really tragic and really, really hard. And we spent so many nights clinging to, to each other, crying, and just, yeah, it was terrible. A lot of holidays alone. Ruined. Yeah. And so luckily, I am with someone who has a forgiving heart. Because I kept saying to him, I'm like, why are you still with me? The opportunity with this show to kind of let people see that everything isn't always perfect and that they can overcome these kinds of obstacles too is really important. And I think that getting to see where we started, where it all kind of began was important. I think it's aspirational too for people who have dreams and your families don't support your dreams because they just seem so crazy, whether it's I want to make it in Hollywood or I want to marry someone outside of my culture or my race. We hear from a lot of friends from different cultures, different races, um, even a lot of gay friends who have you know, seen this episode and told us, I'm so grateful because you know, I experienced the same thing with my family. And uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully it'll help other people out there in the same position.